Hi, in this video I'm going to look at how to create a spry menu bar, which is a really nice option for creating navigation in your website. So in this example, I already have created a site, which I have um, have a different video on that walks you through the steps to create the site. And I've also created my index page with my style sheet, which is also in another video. Um, so in this one, I'm just going to take this page and uh, do what you probably would do in a lot of other websites to create your navigation. And Dreamweaver has built-in options for spry elements that uh, give us some functionality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cursor on my page where I want to include my menu. And I'm going to go to Insert, Layout Objects, and Spry Menu Bar. And then I have the option of either a horizontal or a vertical layout. So vertical would be something like you might want to go down the left hand side of the screen here. I'm going to put mine horizontally going across my page at the top. So I'm going to click OK. And uh, here we have our spry menu bar all ready to go. Now I can switch into the live view and from this we'll be able to see uh, pretty much what the page is going to look like and how it will function on a, on a web browser without actually sw switching it over and viewing on a web browser. So if you see I can um, navigate over and when we have the little triangle here we see that there are drop down items in here. Uh, here's an example of one that has a menu and then a sub menu that pops up off of that as well. So uh, that is created automatically when we insert a spry menu bar. So I'm going to go back out of the live view and we'll look at how to customize the navigation elements on here. Now, to work with this you want to make sure that your spry menu bar is selected. So if you've clicked off of it and it doesn't appear to be available you just mouse over and click on this tab and when you do notice that the properties panel at the bottom changes to give us the options for editing and customizing our menu bar. Uh, what I'm going to do first is save my file. So if I do file and save, it's going to say it needs to copy dependent files. And it's going to create a folder called Spry Assets and it's going to add all of these files into it. So we have a JavaScript file which is going to handle the, the swapping and the, the mouse over, mouse out features, um, the GIF images or the little triangles that we have, and we have a style sheet that handles the layout and the design and the CSS for the menu. So I'm going to click OK and over here in our properties panel you can see that it created a spry assets folder and if I expand that you can see that here indeed are all of the different files that it said that it needed. Now an important thing to remember is this folder also must go up to your web server with the rest of your files in order for this menu bar to work properly and to be displayed using this format. Okay, now on to um, adjusting the navigation elements here. So in the properties panel, we've pointed out here that you can see items 1, 2, 3, and 4, and these are the ones that are going across horizontally. And then when you have one of these items selected, this shows you the sub items off of that. So item 1, as you saw, had some had item 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 that dropped down from here. Whoop. And if I click on item 2, you'll see that there are no sub items under that. And item 3 had sub menus. And even under 3, there were 
uh, sub sub menus that popped up off of that. So if you understand how this structure works then we can uh, customize this for the navigation on your own website. So say for instance item 1 I wanted to say to be home. So instead of item 1 over here for the text I can say this is home. And the link I always want to come back to my index.html page. Now if it's something that you've already created, you can click on the file folder to browse for it. Now under home, I don't want any sub items under there. So I'm going to click on each of these and hit the minus sign to remove those from the menu. And you can see that up here, it was taking them or subtracting them from the view as I deleted them. So now under item two, let's say I wanted to call this products and I'm going to leave the link empty for that because I'm going to put a few sub items under here. So you can see that now my second item is products and it's been changed up here. And so let's say I can add some sub items under here. So we'll just say fruit and let's say we have a page called fruit.html that we want to link to. And then I can add a second item, vegetables. And I'm going to have it link to a vegetables page. So you can get the idea from here how this structure is. This is going across the top for the main menu and sub items off of that. And then these would work to link to these different pages. So you could continue editing these and modifying them to customize them for your own website purposes.